Hello folks. So we're on the uh, Philips Ingenia platform 4.1 attempting to uh, measure the Cobb angle on this coronal uh, spine, lumbar spine. Uh, so right click here and uh, we'll quickly, quickly go to more options and select uh, line setting and bring the menu here for you to see. So here you can name your um, uh, line setting however you want and uh, highlight the angle here. Uh, then you'd, you'll be able to draw a, an angle and it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just kind of rough. Right click again, that'll create another angle and then right click to let go. So basically we created this little angle here uh, notice that this is the measurement value here. Usually it's on inside, but on Philips this is an inside. So as I change my angle, it will change, it will uh, measure it for you. So now uh, it's very um, important to measure it properly. So zoom out and you're, you'll able to extend your lines. And more than that, you'll able to move it freely so for example uh, let's start from the top the very top vertebra I need to be aligned with that which I am basically aligned pretty good here all right and then I'll just move it closer here now the bottom one um, uh, I think that this is the uh, appropriate measurement from here however you could also attempt it here but just for the sake of it vi this video it's here so I'm par parallel to that ridge there and so zoom out and so here's my reading so basically 20.1 um, so let's switch real quick to uh, a spine that is a very straight that's a very straight scenario so here you have almost a perfect spine uh, and zoom out real quick and then go to uh, line distance profile we already have it highlighted on the angle so that should give me an angle nope never mind that they have to be highlighted so delete it and then go to more options and select line settings and again uh, select that and just approximate angle so here the challenge here is that the image the image has to be zoomed out a lot in order for us to create sort of because of the angle is very very narrow less than 11 for example uh, we are forced to extend this further away, uh, obviously. So um, you could zoom in, you could also move left to right by uh, pushing a right and, and middle button. So that'll give you more space and so you could actually extend this further if you need to, to really be measuring accurately and here's my measurement here from here to here approximately I'm at 8.5 which is lo less than 11 so I won't have to run my coronal uh, T1 in this case I can extend it even further if I want to measure even more accurately however it's at this point I could really see that I don't need to run my coronal also, you have an option of right-clicking here. Um, you have to be on the name. So here's my Cobb angle right here. So you have to be selected right here. So as you hover over your the angle's name, you have a, a right-click. You have an option to copy to right or copy all. That option is, for example, copy to all I select. That means that as I go through my spine now, back and forth, anterior to posterior, that angle is 
that you know those lines are still visible and sometimes uh, you know patients uh, spine could be curved in all uh, three dimensions so this is much easier to set up um, if you right click on it and select right then the option would be only from the slice number six all the way to the rest of the slices that angle will remain the, the those lines will remain visible and then they will disappear uh, afterwards but most likely you will only gonna be using uh, a copy all option okay that'll conclude our uh, cob measuring uh, procedure and hopefully that helps to clarify some things thank you